yourself like so there is like exceptions to the rule of oh just be your true self if you're like some doofus it's just being a rude a-hole all the time then no you shouldn't be so let me break 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 it all down for you i ain't never giving up i ain't never giving up you know i'm gonna take take taking that crown from you i ain't worried about you i ain't never so let me break 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 it all down for you i ain't never giving up i ain't never you know i'm gonna take take taking that crown from you What's up, freaks? freaks? Welcome back to the Breaking the Cycle podcast. We have recorded in a really long time now, so today we are going to be talking about why it's important to be your freak self and why you shouldn't let others tell you how to live your life. Awesome intro. Better intro than I would have wow. done. I would have said some weird stuff. Ty- especially Thanks. Tyson's intro that he was Please practicing. Please don't talk about me. He was you're right like, here, so you're not to tell me how to live others, my life. Don't let others evaluate and precipitate and your precipitate. life. And precipitate. I never They're said gonna that. They're going to rain on your life. Precipitate. So I never said that. You. Anyway, let's get rolling. Okay. So we're talking about the freak. So this is the end yep. of the series. What series is this the end of? Decaf. Yes, decaf. I got Woo! to say it. The decaf series. That your thing has a lot of sound when you bang it like that because it's not on a stand. So right. watch those hand things. So decaf is the end of discipline, energy, confidence, action, which and we did freak. episodes and all those. And this is freak. This is kind of our pillars of our family. And the freak is the final one, it's which what is about we live what on. we live on. What's it? What is it again? Just as you said in the beginning, Mitch. It's it's today we're going to be covering why it's important to be your freak self. So be yourself, be unique, and not let others tell you how you. Need were you to about live to say life. not give a f- what other people think about you? I felt like you were about to say that. No, I, I, if I could, then maybe. I if I could, what do you mean if you could? You're never gonna be able to could. Able to could. This Excellent. kid needs grammar lessons. Can't Excellent. go back to preschool. All right, back to preschool. So let's let's jump into it. Let's talk about freak. What does it mean to be your freak self? What's a Give me a give me an example or a story oh, wait, about. Before, before we head into it, do you guys want a starting joke? Oh Who wants no! A starting joke? Oh no! I forgot Ooh. about these. I'm actually gonna need a therapist. All right. Do you know I used AI? I used Chat GPT. I used Google Search. I used Google's AI to find jokes about freak, and they were so bad that I don't even know if I have any for this episode. They were bad. It's still the same though. I don't oh really yeah, know if and I, if you guys- I searched up on Google for jokes about Freak and other upcoming podcast episodes, and I just none of them were good. They were if bad. you guys have listened in the past, so you know that me, we, and, uh, me and Tyson, we tell Steve jokes, and he Steve. has to try to he has to try to get them under ten seconds. But if you've skipped the past few episodes, he actually has been giving us jokes. So and they've been yeah. horrible. They've been no, they've been good. My one, so- mine have been good. Yeah, okay. All, so all right, let's go quick. What do we got for the joke? Why did the brilliant scientist disconnect his doorbell? No stalling. I know this answer. Say it again. I've done I've literally done this joke. Why did the brilliant scientist disconnect his doorbell? My finger's already on Why the Why do you button. have your finger on the button like as if I'm gonna fail already before you even start the countdown? Why did the you said it, the microphone is a new microphone, so it was like I'm getting this a little bit of 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 a why, I'm not did, say why did the brilliant scientist disconnect his doorbell? No more stalling. Disconnect his the brilliant scientist disconnect his doorbell. The Ten. Why electrocution. Did electricity. I know the answer. No, no. Ding do, dong. Do the oh, uh, timer. Ding dong. Uh, bell ring. Ring. Ring a bell. Why is this? Because it rang a bell. Am I anywhere anywhere near on the track? Close. Shit. Stop. No, this dumb face, it is very distracting. Like, imagine having to look in this face and trying to focus. That's hard to focus looking at that face. I feel for you, man. Say it one more time because you were very mumbly when you were saying it. You got the whole timer and... See, they're so, <laughs> your voice is so screechy in that new mic. You, Why did you the... You can br- probably see that. I mean, no, your I can't. Hand, Why hand did, is questionable. But. What is it? Why did the brilliant scientist disconnect his doorbell? You get five seconds. Stop. Stop. Very too much pressure. Why did the brilliant scientist disconnect his doorbell? He was... Ring. It's something with ring. No, ring no, tone. Five ring. <sighs> ah, fuck. I didn't get it. What did you just say? I didn't say, say anything. Swear jar. What? <laughs> what the hell is that? Do you want a hint? Well, do you, I failed it. It's something you do with It didn't go through. Bell. I failed, Mitch. Oh, right. <laughs> you hit your finger on the button the whole time. You didn't even hit it. Sorry. I'm, and the we're, fr- we're rusty. All right. We're rusty. All right. Give me a hint. Quick hint. We got to get on with the show. What is a prize that has to do with 
doorbell? With a science. Maybe science. not door. Bell? No idea. What? We got to get moving. He wanted to win the Nobel Prize. Oh, my God. Disconnect his be- uh, doorbell. That's actually a figure out one if you were thinking and smart. And if so, you didn't, that was a little, so was a little tough for me. If you didn't yeah. have that guy's mind. Jeez. That was, but, a, that was actually a good one. <laughs> Hard one, but that was a decent yeah. one. All right. So let's go. Get let's, into it. Let's talk about the freak. The being yourself, nice. living life on your own terms. I'm just going to say what I what freak is overall to me, what, what it means to me. And it's really just being yourself, being you're, you're marching to the beat of your own drum. You are living life on your own terms. You don't give an F what people think about you. The people that don't matter think about you. Do you think I should care what you two think about me? Well, we matter to so you. So I should yes. care. Just like, saying, just he's saying no. <laughs> <laughs> just, back, we're right back to where we left off. The, the last episode, which was a couple months ago, remember right back to where we left off. That's not true. Whenever you say it's not true, it means it's double true probably. Uh, I think we need a, t- Mid, you're, you're slacking too because right when he said that he, he should have gotten a beep or whatever what is it a beep? ding dong or whatever when he does something which one did we use you don't even remember wow you are slacking is it oh this, this one? one yeah there it is he's got one doing he's got one doing you already you such bullies <laughs> so, maybe you're just like really dumb so it is not giving an F what people think about you but you should absolutely give an F what the people that matter think about you. So should I care what you should think about me? Yes. Of course. Yes. Should I care what Most what stuff. should I care what clients or friends or other guys that I run business with? Or should peers. I care what they yes. think about me? Yes. Should I care what someone on the internet that I don't know that, that <laughs> there's another ding for him thinks about me? Imagine imagine there you know there's people on the internet that hate on me like what they say actually like no but that i don't even i don't even see this stuff i don't even know that like i've come across videos from like youtube that were like a year old about me so imagine a year goes on about someone talking about you and recording about you and getting views about you and probably getting monetized about you and you don't even know they exist imagine being the person who's obsessed with someone wasting their time and talking about someone who doesn't even know they exist that's what that's being a real that's actually nobody. Totally, that's actually totally true, though. Because some course. people on the on YouTube and stuff, they're getting millions of views. Like, for the oh, project, they're getting paid. For they, they, I, I could, I they could give them. Monetized. I can get them content, content every week. They could do a video every week and just give me, send me a cut, man. Like, what the hell? Like twenty five percent. Like, yeah. like uh, almost, like almost all of the content they use, like haters, like against the projects and stuff. You gotta stop with the hand switching because it echoes yeah. in there. Almost all of the content, like, of course, there's some about, like, the other instructors and stuff of the project, but you, it's really mostly about you. Yeah, so. they, they hate out there. You like should get a me. cut. Yeah, definitely should get a cut. Because you're crazy. What? Anyway, so, what? also, it, but being yourself doesn't mean you just, like, what if you're just a, a, a rude a-hole all the time? Should Cutting you close be, to the swear jar should there. Should you be yourself all the time? Like, Of course you should. If, if you're a rude a-hole, you should no, be yourself. No, no, no. Oh, I mean, you no. need to get your shit together. You need to work on yourself. Another one <laughs> for him. You should work on yourself. Like, So there is like exceptions to the rule of, oh, just be your true self. If you're like some doofus that's just being a rude a-hole all the time, then no, you shouldn't be yourself. Are you keeping a doing counter? So that's overall what I freak am. means to me. Tell me about how do you show an example of yourself being a freak? Not really what does it mean to you, but what is like an example, Midge, of... I have actually Being a couple different self. examples, give so one. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give one. So a couple months back, I was Mitch. We are here. Right. A couple months back, a couple months ago, I was reading this book by Craig Ballantyne. Some of you may know him. He's one of my favorite authors, actually. Uh, the Perfect Day Formula. I was reading it, and this was one of the older versions, but I wasn't really aware of that at the time, and I realized that there was something wrong with the writing, and I didn't really understand it. So I decided to send an email to Craig, and I was like, hey, Craig, I told him my name, and I told him that I'm reading his book, and I'm really interested in it, and I'm really enjoying it, and I told him that I realized that this about this one flaw, and he responded to me like a week later about, and he said that he, he, the email made his day. He was telling me that that was an older version of the book, and he actually told me that he would send me the new version for free if I just gave him, you know, like our shipping address. 
and when I actually got it in the mail, he sent me all of his books along with like a kit and a journal and everything. So that was really fun. But the reason I chose it as my freak story is first of all, other normal kids would not be reading a book about personal growth or personal development in the first place. And even if they were, they would not be brave enough because uh, I was really nervous about this, but they wouldn't really be brave enough to send it out to a millionaire author. Not only probably not brave enough, probably wouldn't need to have recognized the, mi- the flaw. Yeah, exactly what you picked up on. So that's awesome. That's, it wasn't that's just a cool like a example. grammar mistake, though. Like, I'm glad you didn't use the other freak one because I'm going to steal what was really could be yours, but it's the one I always use. So now you can't use it. And you better not be using stealing mine either, Tyson. But I mean, it could be used which for is Tyson. That right there. It could be used for Tyson, too, because so, it's something we all right. have. Tyson, what do you got for your, like, what's your example of just being a freak, your freak self? And freak, also, by the way, freak is an acronym. Do you, do you guys memorize, you guys memorize the acronym for freak? I think so. Can Ooh, I, if you don't can know I it, F, does F stand can for I freak? Give- Another one, please. So in an acronym for a word, you think, <laughs> but every acronym, the first letter would be the word of the acronym, Right. So every acronym would be the first word would be the same word of the acronym so according like to your philosophy. Infinite. It would just be an infinite acronymism. Ac- wow! Acronymism. How many dings has he got already? This is a record. Four. We're only ten minutes in. We got to keep this un- under like a good amount of time. All right. So that's a record. Good, good job, man. PRs. You said PR in the gym today, and now a PR. Nice. On I actually the, did set a dings. gym. Nice job. You did ninety-five doofus? pounds with, bar- with the barbell for ten set of ten. Holy crap! Nice job, doofus. That's like almost like a warm-up round for me. No. All right, so what, what is your story okay. for a freak? So my story is uh, five years ago when we when we moved to California was when we we went across the country and I transferred into, like, both of us actually transferred into a different school. And it was, like, super awkward the first two weeks of just being, like, the new kid there from all the way from New York. And th- especially when we moved to Riverside, I remember I walked into the classroom and I was wearing the free code clothing at the time. Literally, the second I walked in, everyone went like, <laughs> "They giggled and yeah. chattered about you behind your back." I, yeah, they, I know. They snickered at your expense. Snickered, as at the your haters expense. would say. And just like not really caring about people that I didn't really know yet, what they like thought and said about me. I'm sure a bunch of them gossiped about me when I first came into school, but. Like, just, like, not caring about, like, what they thought, especially since I was, like, the new kid until I made some friends. And how did it turn out, like, months later, you know, you only were in that school for a few months before you got yanked you guys out and started homeschooling, but was it disastrous after that, oh, after no. The, the, the... No, it was, it was, it was fun. Were you bullied? No. Especially when we went out to run in the morning, they definitely stopped laughing then. Why? Because I, I was the only kid who ran the entire time for like, I don't know if it was 10 or 15 Oh, right. Minutes. They would like make fun of you for being the only one that actually runs. So you're supposed to go out there to run a mile. They would make fun of me. They would say he for used running when we were supposed to run. for running. Yeah, so the teacher sent you out to run a mile and then you got made fun of for running a mile. Even by the teachers would almost like probably hit on that. So, yeah, all right. They said you would use cheat codes. And speaking of free code clothing, you're wearing a shirt oh, right and this now. Is the freak, yeah. This is the freak shirt. If the you're interested, check shirt. it out at freecode.site. Or not. <laughs> Because it's only available to ourselves. We didn't even make that open. We like, didn't? No. We didn't? Right now, it's not. Oh, never mind then. No, it was, it was only for our own shirts. We're eventually going to launch it yeah. out there. But Okay. Yeah. Keep your only, eye out for it that. It was only our personal stuff that we personally, personally were making for ourselves and selling. So for me, it's the two different two different color shoes. We've talked about it a few different times, but that's like the ultimate statement of being your freak self. Like every day, wearing two different color shoes, not caring, like putting those two different color shoes on and not caring that people are going to see you have two different color shoes. Like your your video in the in the kill house. Oh yeah, there were like three comments good. on it. Everything's good besides his shoes. Yeah, like but why? He was focusing too much on the the mission that he, he forgot to put two of the same shoes on or something. Yeah, but the another- point is the point is if I'm putting two different color shoes on, like and I'm going out of the house, it's already off. I'm already awkward a little bit. So like it can't get any worse. Like okay, I have two different color shoes, so I can't be any more like weird or. Like I already know, I already know it about myself. I'm basically putting it out there about myself. I call it like the movie about Eminem in Eight Mile. I don't know if you guys have seen. Oh no, we watched. Yes, watched part of it. I don't know if you watched the whole thing. But what's it called? Eight Mile. Oh. At the end, he has a rap battle, like the final one against his uh, like, and he just his like arch rival. Uh, okay. I'm not telling a story. No, 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 no. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Just no, tell no, my no. story. No, no, no. I'll tell you a story. You tell mine. Yeah, Please stop. 
Please stop. Please stop. Oh so, gosh, I dropped my pen. So in the in the end of the end of the movie, he gets to choose. He they have a coin flip about who raps first, and it's like a rap battle. So he's supposed to be like insulting the other one and like talking shit and whatever. So he chooses to go first. But he knows all the things that the guy is going to say about him, all the bad stuff about his life and his childhood and his mother and how he got beat up and his girlfriend and his mother was like a crackhead and all this other stuff. He knows that that's what the other guy was going to rap about. So when he went first and he just rapped about all that stuff better than the other guy was going to rap about it, about himself. So it's like I'm putting all this stuff out there about myself. There's no one that people can what, say to you. What could you possibly say to me that's going to like hurt my feelings? I'm going out there with two different color shoes. That's like that same eight mile theory same mentality. I'm putting it out there like I put military videos out there that I'm a pog I wasn't in combat I wasn't in in the infantry but then they'll st- still say oh, but, and pog. then you got a sm- like a better job for that you got air wing right yeah air like the weather or whatever which is probably a much better job than being a grunt I mean not there's no such no, no, not, not that it's a better thing, but it's not that it's a better job or not you need more skill I think it's just not necessarily that either not really you were the weather man not, the not weatherman. necessarily <laughs> the but weatherman. but the point is that you're putting yourself out there, putting your stuff out there. So what could someone possibly ever say to you to like hurt your little feelings or like drag you down, especially the people that don't matter. So any anything else for that you guys want to add in about the, the freak, about being yourself? Yeah, I uh, actually do too. So on, on one of my videos about, I was on, it was on Instagram. I was talking about launching Freak Fit. I was talking about launching Freak Fit and like maybe like a week later, two weeks later, some guy comments on the video, shut your mouth, kid. <laughs> like, I'm not The guy told him offended. a grown up commented on his video talking shut about mouth, doing so, workouts for with other kids, homeschool kids, and, and a grown up man says, shut your mouth, kid. Like, I, I, if it was something like a little less than that, I might have kept it on there, but it, I just blocked the guy because he was just being just like. Block, delete, mother effort, move on. Quit cutting close to the swear jar again there. I don't even know what that means. If that was the case, if there was a swear jar in this house, rich. you you would all be millionaires and I'd be dead We'd freaking be broke. We'd be laying in the cash. And I'd be dead freaking broke. Be laying in the Anything cash. else to add, add on before we kind of yes, make this wrap up? So make a quick, ha- sharp, short uh, video just about being yourself. An- another another um, reason that me and Tyson are freaks or like that's what we like to call you guys can call it whatever you like. But is that we don't do homeschooling. We do home life things. So that's even different. That's even more like it's even more on our own. D- out da- of the homeschooling. Season. You know, like Dave now Dog. it's a little more since like the Corona time and Zoom. Yeah. Every guys were in Zoom halfway and this and that. So homeschooling became a little more popular. But you know, like when I was a kid, if you're someone you're like, you're if someone home. was a homeschooled, they were and they were obviously ahead of the game. Imagine like they were like decades ahead of their time we're talking 40 years ago when i'm in elementary school if there was someone that was homeschooling those times they were literally thought of to be like a freak of nature like what a weirdo there must be something so wrong that kid he's gonna grow up to be a serial killer all this other like that's how you thought of home like they were just so weird but you know what those people are just ahead of their freaking time those people just knew something we didn't know they're like why would i waste my time doing learning all this other stuff like napoleon could, hill said in that one book of his outwitting the devil yeah a couple of them but outwitting the devil yeah like those people were ahead of the time but they literally were thought of as like freaks though like a bad way you think about oh what a freak Jeez. not like our freak which is freedom oh acronym that's what we need to finish off on can i give a shot at it yeah what you got freedom role model enthusiasm action attitude attitude kill and kill. She got it. Got it. I would have got it. First that, but try. Like, I didn't raise my oh, hand. Oh, I would have got it, but I didn't raise my hand. That's all. <laughs> there we go. It's like you're breaking PRs. Six under 20 minutes. In, in, a, Woo! in 17 you minutes. Got it. Six. You're getting one in less than every three minutes. That is impressive. Bro. That's not bro. impressive. That's the high ratios, man. Impressive. The high ratios. All right. So that's what our just quick take on why you should be your freak self. Some examples of being your freak self. Anything you guys want to add in to just being your freak self uh, that, that you have to not throw really. in? Not really. And comment down below how you live your own freak lifestyle. How are you a freak? What are you doing to be your freak self? What are you doing to even show your freakness every day and, and waving your freak flag high in the sky? So you could attract like-minded freaks like yourself, like those people on the internet that I don't know, that I don't even know exist. I don't, I don't have enough time for the 
friends that I already have and the people I already know, like I don't need those other rest of the 7.9 billion weirdos out there. And like, maybe if you don't have your own type of lifestyle, maybe it's time to change that. So get, let this episode be an example maybe of how you could start living life on your own terms. And if you are the uh, being, when we say be yourself, again, if you're being one of those turds on the internet, don't be change. yourself. Don't just be yourself. Like, yes, change. Change the way you are. Change the way you approach stuff. Change your attitude. Change the whole freak acronym. Everything that's in that acronym. Those people are not free. Those people are like prisoners in their own head because they're so pathetic. They're not role models to anyone. No one sees them and says, oh, I want to be like. Especially not enthusiastic. I want their, their enthusiasm is like negativity. Along enthusiasm. Their, attitude. their attitude is just piss poor, shitty, negative attitude and kill they're not killing the fear and killing the doubt killing the, they're not killing the they're bullshit ki- voice in the they're head. killing positivity they're killing the positivity they're not killing the task in front of them. they're just wasting their time and wasting their life so they're killing their freedom how can you be a freak Animalism. what can you do to be your freak self comment what, down below what do you do to be your freak self and why don't you all take them home while i shut this down if you guys like this episode make sure you click that subscribe button down below and, and, the like, the vi- and like the video and hit that notifications bell so you never miss out on any future videos we upload even that stuff that's just not BTC, but other things too. And comment down below how you live and your life. And this lifestyle. is the last episode of the decaf series, and we'll see you guys in the next one. No excuses. No one told you, yet today. you are freaking awesome. No, no excuses. excuses. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never you know give it up. I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up. No, I'm taking that crown from you.